What is going on guys? It is TJ here. Um and today I've got a stringing slash uh mesh review. So as a bunch of you know, uh I partnered up with Chicago uh style strings and uh he gave me a piece of mesh to try out and review. Um he also sent me a pen, he also sent me this head to string it up with. Uh this will be for sale. Uh it's a Reebok 10K. It's like burnt orange, orange and black. Um it looks really cool. Um, so I was going to start stringing this and then post the video later, but I, I was thinking why not just string it up right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this a boxy pocket because that's what the 10Ks were used for, was more box. Um, so uh, I'll post the pattern below if you guys have a 10K that you guys want to um, string up just like this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to string this up. Uh, I'm going to, so I'm going to string it up and then I'm going to, you know, tell you guys how I like the mesh um, and whatnot. And then once that's done, uh, I want to tell you guys all about the mesh um, and that I will be selling this mesh uh, through my company. So if you guys want a piece to try, uh, let me know. Um, and yeah, so I'm already halfway done the first side walls. Um, so let's see, I'm almost done. And what I'll do is on the second side wall, I'll uh, commentate down the side wall. Um, so like I said, I'm using this more for like a boxy look. Um, here and kaboom. All right, so with the pocket that I'm doing, uh, it's one of my favorite patterns that I've been using for a lot of heads. Um, I mix it up every once in a while, but when it comes out, sometimes it comes out perfect. Sometimes, you know, I got to redo it because the head's not the way I want it to go. But um, so what what you're gonna do is with this, yeah, pull this down a little bit. So what you're gonna do. I've got the top string on the first hole, and then second hole, you tie down. So, tie down, and then you're going to skip a hole, and go down to the next one, and you're going to knot. Um, now, a bunch of people call it like an anchor knot. Um, I just call it a knot. Um... A lot of people like to interlock, but what I've noticed through the stringing is that when you interlock, it doesn't keep the mesh tight. Um, then you want to skip one again and then do another knot. So right now, what you should have is tie first, knot, or er, tie first, skip, knot skip knot uh, and the next one you're going to do is another knot surprising there um, but this one you don't skip any holes uh, you just throw it on there um, so after that you do a one without skipping so up and under through the hole, there's your one. Um, so what that's gonna do is for me for box I like a mid mid high pocket. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me it's gonna start my depth. Um, but next what I do after that is I do a two with skipping a hole. Skip a hole. Um. So, as you guys can tell, this is my pocket right now. Uh, again, it's not done. So, let's continue. Uh, so, then we're going to do another one without skipping a hole. Then we're going to do a uh, skip a hole and then another one. 
and then we're going to do a one tie off. So that's the sidewall pattern. Now for my nine diamond top or my bottom for the bottom string, um, I normally do it how Okay, so let me get bottom string. <laughs> normally what I like to do is like to have it kinda long. Um just because for box, you know, there are no rules for pocket, well, there are rules for pocket depth, but, um, when you, um, make your pocket for box, you kind of want to have the bottom string tight. For me, I don't, um, just because I feel like if you have your bottom string tight, it takes away from, uh, the channel and whatnot, so... All I do is I kind of do how Throne Mesh does theirs. Just put it on that same row that you use the final diamond. And there you go. There's your pocket. Um, and tie off the bottom, of course. So with that being strong, um, what this is, so it's like a mid mid high pocket with a great channel um cut the bottom part uh I'm pretty sure that that's fine so let's talk about the mesh so this is Chicago mesh um let me get the thingy so it's Chicago mesh it's 15 millimeter uh the packaging um you know they're just starting out so it's cool you know they just started out, but um, so here's the packaging. Hold on, let me take the staples out so I don't prick my finger. It's gonna suck if I do. All right, there we go. One more. All right. So this is Chicago mesh. Um, it's cool because again, uh, as a bunch of you know, I love Chicago. Uh, I love that city. I'm actually moving up there fairly soon with my girlfriend. She uh, wants to go to Chicago State University to uh, go to college there. And I told her, wherever she goes, I'll follow. And when she said Chicago, I said, hell yeah. So on the back, um, so the cool thing about it is it looks like the Chicago flag. Uh, I love that. Um, it's really cool because, again, being huge in Chicago, uh, it, it's awesome. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm ripping it apart and putting it on my wall because, like I said, it's so cool um, to be working with somebody from Chicago. Um, the amount of love I have for Chicago, it's unreal. Um, Alright, hopefully that worked. Ha, ah, it did. Okay, so I did this also to show you guys. So here's the Chicago mesh, it's 15 millimeter. Uh, he has the price on there, which is really cool. It says high performance uh, wax mesh. Now, uh, I think he said this is, um, I want to say G3. I'm not sure. Um, but it's really nice. Uh, I like it. Um, he said that it is a little flaky. I will say it is kind of flaky. I strung it up. I got a bunch of flakes on uh, my pants. But uh, I feel like once you start playing with it, the flakes are going to leave. Um, and whatnot, but again, love the mesh. I mean, strung up right away. There's the pocket. There's the channel. Um, it doesn't look that good here. There you go. There's the channel. It's really nice. Um, it's definitely, you know, a great pocket. Um, so on here it says minimal flake, great hold, water resistant. Um, what's really cool is they have the stars on the side. It says check out uh, check us out on Instagram. Uh, they have their uh, they have theirs uh, at Chicago dot string dot or Chicago dot style dot strings. Um, also, people that work with them, um, West Coast underscore strings and then Laxloft. Um, now, with that being said, they didn't put me on there. I guess this is older mesh, which is fine. Um, but they also 
added on. They have little Chicago mesh pens. Um, and it's cool. You know, I needed a new pen. Awesome that they sent that to me. Um, so now let me get into the mesh uh, itself. Now it's just the packaging. So the mesh itself, um, it's really nice. The diamonds are a little big, or they are big, uh, which I like. I love huge diamonds. Um, with uh, the way that I play box, I like to have you know bigger mesh diamonds. That way I can hold the ball. That way it holds the ball better, and it has you know better hold and whatnot. Um, I think he told me that this was infused with beeswax and something else. I can't can't remember um, what it was infused with, but again, strung it up right out of the packaging. Um, broke in right away. Great pocket. Um, I, I I mean, there's, I can't say anything wrong about this mesh. Um, the only thing I will have to say is definitely the flaking. It does flake a little bit, but I feel like once, you know, I get this on the stick, start playing around, uh, passing around, shooting something, uh, it'll definitely uh, stop flaking, uh, which, you know, in all honesty, flaking doesn't really matter. Um, people may say, you know, flaking sucks. A lot of the meshes, if you remember when they first started, started flaking. Um, so you really can't, you know, dog on some companies that are just now you know, starting out with mesh and whatnot. Um, damn, it's like almost a 12 minute video. I'm rambling on about this while I'm finishing up this. Uh, so let me just finish this up. Okay, so here, so finished trimming it and everything. Uh, so regular nine diamond top, the top the top part of this really confused me how to string it. So I just kept the the two laces on here. Um, and then again I pulled the mesh down really tight. Um, I did want to, you know, make this a little bit higher of a pocket, but um, honestly I think this is great. Um, this is great for a good pocket. Um, so I will be selling this mesh. Uh, contact me if you want a piece. Uh, I'll put my Instagram below. I will put their Instagram and their um, and you know whatnot on there or on the thing. Um, again, this will be for sale. Um, let me know if you want it. I know people will be like, "Ew, 10k." Um, honestly, guys, this is one badass head. Um, as you all know. I told you guys I had a Rochester Nighthawks head, so there's the 9K. I'm just waiting to string it up. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it yet, um, but both these Reebok heads will be for sale, um, so let me know if you want it. Um, other than that, guys, I do have one more package coming in soon. Um, I'm hoping it comes in in the next couple of days. I want to do a really awesome review. Um, again, I also posted on my Instagram that my grandfather is in the hospital. Um, I went to go see him today. Um, he's doing fine. Uh, he should be coming out of the hospital, so I want to continue with my YouTube, uh, continue with my Instagram and everything. I uh, will be posting some pictures of this on my Instagram. Uh, and, you know, hopefully you guys want to pick it up. But for now, guys, um, I will be selling this 25 30 bucks. It's strong. Um, you know, the mesh, if you guys want to try out the mesh, it's cool. But uh, 25, 30 bucks. If not, my little brother's probably gonna take it from me, uh, cause this is his school colors. Uh, he lives up in Illinois, so school colors right here. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, again, I'll put everything in the description below, um, and I will hopefully see you guys very soon. Again, I'm hoping that head and uh, that I got two heads on a trade for a pair of gloves that I had. The guy wanted. So I'm hoping that those came in today. I'm probably going to go check the mail, and then if they did, second video of the day. All right, guys. Uh, again, description, and I will see you guys later. Peace.